Hey there, possums, and good evening. Thank you all for joining me tonight to share some very exciting news. There's a lot to cover this evening, so I'm just going to jump right in and start by taking a look back. So when the six of us started the adventures of the Apollo Protection Agency, we had no idea what this project would become. Hell, we didn't even know that our main show would be called the Apollo Protection Agency. And now, after three and a half years, we have six, yeah, six regular shows and a yearly online convention. And we even have our own custom mini game with Titanium Mike's Fight Rock. All this to say, we have grown tremendously over the last few years and that is all thanks to you, our listeners and community. Whether we are following the adventures of the APA, tracking the next job for Roland and the crew of Live and Let Fly, enjoying the hijinks of the Hacky Sack Heroes, meeting new people as well as new characters in STF and Friends, or checking in with that totally not secret, but definitely secret show we do with our good friends over at Hideous Laughter, our love of gaming has propelled a mountain of story-driven content. Adding into that, we have found a lot of joy in discovering and writing the evolution of Tom Talks, STFU, and the new edition of STF Conline Panels. Talking about our favorite hobby outside of the games with other people who provide their own interesting perspectives has been an added gift for us. We are so fortunate to have had the opportunities to meet so many wonderful new friends. But what has been really the most incredible thing about this entire endeavor is you our community. Y'all have been so supportive, insightful, and kind. Getting to listen to your reactions as you work your way through the APA, debating rule interpretations in Discord, and sitting down to play with you all at STFCon. Well, y'all are such a huge part of our lives now. All of us are grateful for that. Without y'all, we would not have been able to achieve what we have, and we'll, we just can't ever thank you enough. So here we are now nearing four years as STF. And we took a lot of time this year to take stock of where we are at, who we are, who our community is, and what we want our future to look like. So that is what we are here to talk about tonight, STF's future. We do have a lot to talk about, so let's get started on the announcements you've been promised. But first, I'm gonna take a sip of beer. Mm, mm, mm. That one was for Emily, who's producing this video. Thanks, Emily. I'm gonna lead off tonight with what we think is the biggest piece of news and what may be the most surprising. None of you guessed it. The STF Network is rebranding. After three years in the TTRPG podcasting space, we have been feeling that our existing brand wasn't fully representing what our network has to offer. Don't worry, you'll still know us as the STF Network, but STF, will now stand for Strange Table Fellows. We wanted to make this change because while our main cast is from the Southern US, our virtual table has grown to include players from other regions and other countries. And we felt that the name Southern Tomfoolery was just too geographically limiting and honestly didn't really convey what it is that we do. Southern Tomfoolery is a name carried over from a different podcast from a different time about a different hobby. And so as we were looking forward to 2023 and all the things that we want to do, we decided we want our name to reflect our future and our more expanded goals. I know this is a significant change, but we are all very excited about this new chapter for the STF Network. We want our current listeners to feel welcome and that you too are a part of our strange table and for new and potential listeners to be able to easily understand what we are a group of friends who are a little, okay, a lot weird, and who love playing TTRPGs together. We had quite the discussion to arrive here, but we think that this new name, Strange Table Fellows, captures that same core of who we are. We are a little strange and a little irreverent, and we certainly are in this together in fellowship. We've got a little nod to the Bard himself because we believe in good storytelling and strong characters. We play tabletop games, so we're putting that front and center so that as our community grows, they know exactly what we do. We know that this name will represent that our table is also a table that you are welcome at because all of our possums are perhaps a little strange, but they're ours and we love you. So maybe I'm going a little long here. Trust me, it's gonna be much longer, but we are truly grateful for the support that you have given us that has brought us here 
to this moment. And we're glad to bring a new twist on the STF name that recognizes all of you and takes us further. But the new name isn't all that we're excited about. Although the words behind our brand may have changed, our commitment to bringing you high quality content has not. In fact, we have even more new and updated projects in store. So everybody take a deep breath. We got a lot to cover. So let's talk about what 2023 looks like for the Strange Table Fellows Network. So the main feed, as many of you have probably presumed, we are excited to officially announce that after the completion of Devastation Arc, we will be playing Drift Crashers and Drift Hackers as the next two seasons on the main STF feed on a show called Drift Delvers. As it looks now, it will probably be near the end of 2023 before Drift Delver starts. However, we're just so excited for this to be the next story on the main feed. I've read through all of the Drift Crashers now, and I'm so amped for this adventure. I'm trying not to overhype it since it's so far away, but y'all, this adventure is wild. If you can hold out and not read it until we do it, there are some quite fun surprises indeed. That being said, there's still so much great stuff left for the Apollo Protection Agency. These next two books of Devastation Arc are amazing. And as we get further and further into higher level play, we are really going to see some epic scenarios play out with your favorite heroes that started it all. So all in all, we are still so stoked for our weekly game, the one that started everything, and we are excited to close one chapter and to open another. But there's so much more, you're gonna be hearing me say that a lot, to the Strange Table Fellows Network, so let's move on to some of our other announcements. Let's talk about Live and Let Fly. Live and Let Fly has been such a success as our second main show. This adventure brings such a different vibe to the network, and while featuring all the things that STF brings to our content, I just want to personally give Zach a shout out for the fantastic work that he's doing as the GM for this show and all the prep and character work that has come with it. I know the rest of the cast is loving this crew and this adventure, and it seems like our community is into it too. Live and Let Fly continues strongly into 2023 with I think some of the most exciting parts of this adventure at the forefront. Yeah, I mean, Zach doesn't tell us much, but I know he's excited for the rest of this book and the third book, so I can't wait to get into it. Um, there will be some minor changes to the format that I'll talk about a little bit later, but for all intents and purposes, Live and Let Fly will remain unchanged and a core part of our content lineup. All right, STF and Friends. STF and Friends has been such an amazing addition to our network. These runs have been such a success for us with fantastic cast starting with Junker's Delight and moving through Twin Heist, Feast of Ravenmore, and Bandcamp on into Redshift Rally, these arcs have allowed us to find new dynamics and new voices at our table. Indeed, I could say that it brought us some strange fellows to our table, maybe. We have had so much fun with these smaller form adventures and bringing these live to you on Mondays. So for those reasons, we are pleased to announce that STF and Friends will continue, and we have scheduled the GMs for the 2023 season. I will continue running Redshift Rally into 2023. I expect this to be done no later than April, but you all know how these things go. After that, there will be three short arcs, the first of which Emily will be running a short, everybody hold on to your hats, D&D 5e game. Yep, we're going back to our roots, and Emily has found a super fun one-shot adventure that, and uh, she's going to take a few of us plus whatever cast that she wants, hopefully. Uh, and we're going to see what happens. Uh, bring a little 5e officially to the network. So that's exciting. And then Heath is going to be running the Skittermander Starfinder adventures after that. He is very excited to run a cast through the three Skitter adventures that are published now. Uh, I can't wait to see the cast we get for this game because it's going to be it's going to be a blast. So whoever's going to be on that game, be ready. You're going to have to be full on Skittermander for a while. I am excited to announce that the third of the small arcs is going to be myself running a module in the Traveler game system. I must admit, I have gotten the bug to check out what character creation is all about in this game. So I'm really pumped to run a full character creation session into a to-be-determined Traveler one-shot just to give this system a full test run. The little bit that I have looked into it has got me excited, has got me pumped, and I can't wait to just see 
what tragedies befall our characters before we even start. I, I'm excited about these three because we're bringing some different systems to the network. Um, and I think we'll, that's something that you'll continue to see as we do STF and Friends. And then for our next long form module arc coming in fall 2023, Heath will be GMing Starfinders to defy a dragon to close out the season. This adventure starts at level 10, features dragons and mechs, and is sure to be an epic arc for STF and friends. I can't wait to see what Heath does with this. I know Heath is excited out of his mind to run this Power Rangers and space and mechs and dragons. I mean, it's just, I will say, he is a little upset that it's not on Triaxis, but he's gonna have to get over that. Uh, but yeah, Heath, uh, Heath is really stepping forward in 2023. I think that you'll see throughout as trying to fill in the spaces, another major GM for uh, STF. And I can't wait to see what he does. So that's going to be a super fun adventure um, and will be our closing big arc for 2023. Stay tuned for cast announcements as each of these arcs get closer. I think it's another beer sipping time. Yep. Mm. I'm drinking West Coast IPA from uh, Second Line Brewery, you know, for anybody who cares. So let's talk a little bit about Patreon. We're going to start with our Patreon exclusive shows. As many of you already know, Hacky Sack Heroes, the homebrew campaign that Emily has been just truly wonderfully GMing, will be coming to a close in the next few months. But don't worry. Although the North Star crew may be flying off into the sunset, we will be catching up with a few other well-known characters. That's right. We're going back to the Shadow Plane with a short homebrew arc jammed and written by myself featuring the much-loved Shadow Party. I am super excited to write another adventure for the Shadow Protection Agency. Uh, this will release uh, one longer episode a month, just like Hacky Sack Heroes. I, for one, can't wait to return back to Trelax, Tenna, and Gloombot, not to mention two new shadow characters. Shadow, shadow, shadow indeed. This was going to fill up the space between the end of Hacky Sack Heroes and what will be our next kind of long-term Patreon exclusive show. So once the Shadow Protection Agency arc is completed, we'll be headed into a full length adventure with Heath, yep, Heath, here he comes again as the GM running the crew through the Scoured Stars adventure path. Heath GMing a long form adventure has been a long time coming as I know he's been dying to do it. And with Scoured Stars being a more episodic style adventure, we felt this would be a perfect fit for our monthly bonus content show. I, I know, uh, again, Heath and I have been talking about this quite a bit and I know he is just super thrilled to be doing this. And it gives us a chance as STF to dive into the Starfinder Society lore and content that we kind of thought was never going to be something that we did. And this is just the perfect place for it. And we are super excited about that. So that expect that to be sometime late summer, early fall of 2023. And that's going to be that's going to carry us for a while. That's a one through 15 level adventure once a month kind of deal. So strap in. We're going to scour some stars, maybe with a scrub pad. I don't know. I haven't read the adventure. And then Tom Talks will continue as a Patreon exclusive with Heath and guests dishing about all the STF content and happenings uh, behind the scenes. So that's the content. Let's talk a little bit about the Patreon organization. In addition to all of this new content, we are rearranging a few Patreon tiers and goals to better serve you, the patrons, and to better fit our schedules and expand our gaming options. So regarding membership tier changes, we will be removing the Hacky Sack Heroes $2 tier, although current members will be grandfathered in at this current tier. And moving forward, access to all Patreon exclusive content will be available at the $5 tier. Also, some of the tier benefits are changing. 
Instead of using the fan submitted crits and fumbles in Live and Let Fly, we will be moving them to use in SCF and Friends and the Patreon exclusive Scoured Stars game that Heath will be running. We tried him in Live and Let Fly and it's just not a fit for Zach's style. And I respect that. I think it'll be more fun in the Twitch kind of live, a little bit looser, looser type adventures. And then as we're running different systems in SCF and Friends, we'll also make sure that they will be there present for Scoured Stars and probably the Shadow Protection Agency. Why not? Let's throw them in there too. Um, but yeah, just out of respect for, for Zach really and, and what he's trying to do with Live and Let Fly and he's doing a great job with it. We're going to move them out of that game and put them into a more appropriate place. Okay, Patreon goals. So we've decided that at this time, the goal of a weekly release of Live and Let Fly is just not something that is feasible based on the full-time job schedules of this crew. So for the foreseeable future, Live and Let Fly will remain on a bi-weekly release schedule and, we'll be, and we will be removing the $2,000 weekly release goal. I know that's a bummer for a lot of you. I know a lot of you really want Live and Let Fly each week, but I think in order to maintain the quality and the sanity of the people involved making that show that we need to keep it at bi-weekly. We've got a really nice rhythm with it and we don't ever want to push it to a rate that it's no longer enjoyable, especially for the GM and, and for all of us, really. We want it to continue to be what it's been and grow. And so that's why we're taking that away. However, we're not going to just take it away and not offer something else. So we have a new goal. So this brings us to what I think is the other big announcement for this whole whole shindig that we're doing. Um, we are setting a new Patreon goal at 1300, not 2000. And if we hit that, we're gonna bring you a brand new show and it's gonna be a Pathfinder second edition game. Yeah, that's it. We're getting into 2E. This system is one that many of the crew have been enjoying playing behind the scenes as well as on STF and Friends. And we just really want to be able to offer a full length show using this great system. So if you've been waiting for the perfect excuse to become a patron or to upgrade your membership, here it is. I will say that this show will be available to everyone uh, and will be released bi-weekly. We have not decided on the AP yet, but we have narrowed it down to a few top choices. Feel free to speculate wildly in the Discord. We are hoping we can hit this goal and be launching the show for summer of 2023, but that's up to you. Uh, we're just really excited about doing this show and hope that y'all are as well. I'm too eager to play this to keep that goal at 2000, so we're dropping it for you guys to 1300. It's crazy. It's crazy to add more content, but it's just, we want to do it. And we want you guys to hear it. So help us hit that goal and help us get there for summer 2023. I think it's going to be awesome. I know it's going to be awesome. And uh, yeah, I want to, I want to play some 2 E. So help, help us make that happen. All right. All right. Pitching aside, let's talk about something else. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh yeah. We kind of soft launched a winter STF con. I think we got conned by our, you guys, uh, to do this, but it's a good idea. So we've added a smaller winter STF con for our patrons. So this will be a more intimate online convention and will happen in January each year as a cool down and a comeback from the holiday season. Uh, it will be exclusive to our patrons and will provide the opportunity to play with the STF cast and community a little bit more one-on-one. -on -one. So if you liked STF con and you're like, I didn't get enough games, I didn't play in enough things, I missed out on assault on the pools of paradise or rescuing Kuiper or whatever other nonsense that we throw out there. This is your chance to come play with us. Tell us about how much you loved or hated your holiday season, uh, blow off some steam. I just want to stress that this is going to be much more small scale, but also much more intimate and a lot more chance to interact with the cast. We're going to really try to make ourselves available to play more than like since we're not going to be organizing anything, this is going to be like a one day of a weekend type deal. But it, I, I think it's just a nice way for all of us as a community to come together. So as you can see, we have a lot of exciting changes and updates in the works. 
But as we continue to grow the network, we are also constantly working on ways to improve the patron experience. So we will be launching a specialized Patreon survey in the near future to gauge how everyone is enjoying the new changes and to hopefully launch more updates tailored to what you actually want and love. And just to wrap up the discussion on our content streams, we are pleased to announce that you will see the return of STFU in 2023. It will be treated as a once a quarter interview show for now, but we hope to excite you with some really great guests and ones that are relevant to what we are doing at the time. Okay, I need another beer sip. I think that's, I think that's about everything. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Are you guys excited out there? You guys enjoying all this news? I hope so. I hope so. We're excited. We have a lot of new things going on and in the works and what better way to showcase all of our exciting new branding and content than with a new website. Yep. We have redone our website from the ground up. So head over to www. That's right. I'm old. <laughs> www.thestfnetwork.com to learn more about our current and upcoming shows get the scoop on the crew and characters and check out our new store with new merch that's right a new brand means new stuff we would love to see you represent the stf network with some fancy new swag okay well i really am going a lot long now but i just have to say we are so incredibly grateful to all of you who have listened and supported us as we've grown. And we're so truly excited to be taking the next step in our journey as a TTRPG network with you, our possums, our, our, our community. If you're watching this live, a few of us will be doing a Q&A session immediately after this video right here on Twitch. So stay tuned. But I, again, just from the bottom of my heart to my castmates, to all the crew of STF and to all of you who are part of this beautiful community. Thank you. I, I cannot believe that I have the pleasure of doing a video like this. It's just, I'm overwhelmed. I'm going to not get all emotional and teary eyed, but I just can't thank you guys enough for, for everything that you've done for us. So from all of us here at strange table fellows network, we'll see you. Hello, hello, hey. hello. Uh, how how you guys feeling out there? It's uh it's a lot of info just dropped <laughs> there. Um 25 minutes. Oh, I'm going to give uh them time to respond to us cuz the lag. How are all of you guys doing? My my fellow castmates. How are you doing? Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. Stuff coming out. A lot of stuff. Well, it's it's it sounds like a, a lot but it's like a whole year's worth of content. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, sure. okay. yeah. Sure. Uh, let's keep it. Let's keep it into perspective. Uh, but yeah, what do you guys think about the new name, the new stuff, all that? The new hotness. The new yeah. hotness. Me? You asking us? Art? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Asking yeah. Us. oh yeah. <laughs> um, fucking love it. Actually, I think it's a much more apt and on brand for how strange all of us really are <laughs> yeah no doubt um it's uh it was a it was a long discussion and you know we won't get into all that so much now but like uh i think it i think it looks good the new website looks good erobs did a lot of amazing work on that getting that all set up um a little like bonus announcement here in the live setting is that in the interim between recording that video and being here We've pretty much secured STF branded dice. Some of you have already seen it on the website, um, but it will have the new STF uh, initials on it. And you know, we'll, we're gonna do a nice black set and a purple set to start off. That'll come in a, uh, what, what, help me out here, Emily. It's, it's a, a, I know it's, it's a, a walnut. Yeah. yeah and I've, I've, oh, the chest of holding. Yeah. Is that yes, what it's called? Yes. 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 Oh, those things are so sweet. I love them, man. Yeah, they're pretty yeah. freaking sweet. And we're doing pre orders now. So if you're interested, check out the new uh, shop page on the new website. It's right mm -hmm. up there at the top. You can't miss it. All this beautiful stuff. 
brought to us by the beautiful, beautiful folks over at Norse Foundry. Eric. Yes. Shout out, Eric. Near and seriously, dear to our Eric, hearts. Eric has been taking care of us in so many ways. Dude. I mean, mostly so many ways, thank by you. letting sends, me see his hair. Yeah, he sends me pictures of his hair periodically, yeah. and I just swoon. It's yeah. wonderful. It's, yeah. it's lovely. Um, it's like a Pantene commercial. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm personally going to hold off for the Mardi Gras set. Yeah, yeah. You know, I have one of those. Out. I have I one of them. I love it. And it, it has, it's actually has the Legacy STF logo on it. So it <laughs> it's a collector's item. Mm. <laughs> Vintage. <laughs> my my cat's um, very excited about the situation as well. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. So, uh, chat, how you guys feeling? How you guys feeling about the news? What are you guys most excited about? We're gonna do a little Q and A here. Um, I will say that Heath and I did do a Tom talks that'll come out tomorrow uh, of kind of me and him digging in a little bit but listen, listen you guys feel like answering some questions you're here you might I, i'm assuming that you uh, yes so. i prefer yeah. if we dug into this cat situation <laughs> <laughs> let's just spend a little while on that it's yeah. pippin he's my cat he's orange that's the end of the story really he likes scratches. go on and <laughs> go on <laughs> uh, we we have replaced <laughs> josh with a cat, <laughs> cat now at the table um unfortunately interestingly uh, enough the... not even his own cat yeah, yeah. <laughs> cat doesn't know the rules, unfortunately. Um, and it's probably going to take much longer with its turns. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, so if y'all have any questions, because SDF yeah. Network 10 beans. <laughs> um, In so. bubbins. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so excited. Y'all, this was hard to sit on. I oh, was my God. I know. Dude. I know. Phrasing, first yeah. off. But... Um, <laughs> Yeah, it was. I mean, I, I've, I've wanted to put like the new logo up, like the new comment die logo up as our Discord logo as soon as we decided that this was it. It uh, pops. So, it's so fresh. Yeah. Dude. So like everybody's been like holding me back. <laughs> yeah. Know? Yeah. Adam will pop in like our marketing channel periodically, and it's just like, mm -hmm. like no. <laughs> Let me do it. <laughs> no. Let me do it. Oh, <laughs> Um, you know, I will say I I am gonna miss Southern Tom Foolery as as a name a little bit. I think we've made the right choice here, but you know, there was that that was like our uh that was like our garage name right before right. like you know, like Zach and I were talking about Radiohead the other day. Yeah, that actually happened. It was amazing. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't an argument. Um and and uh <laughs> we're talking about some of their early stuff and <laughs> there zach learned that their original name was on a friday <laughs> on a friday what a name <laughs> yeah yeah so like i guess this is uh southern time foolery is our on a friday in a way and yeah. thank 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 god that uh radiohead changed their name and i think David Byrne really that. came through in the clutch <laughs> David on Byrne that really one, came yeah. through in the clutch <laughs> on that yeah because radiohead if you guys didn't know Radiohead Facts, uh, that's a Talking Heads song, which is where they got the name for their band, which and is way better that. than, which is way better than On a Friday. I think, it's, I it's a you. terrible name. Grodd has a question. Ow, Pippin, mm. don't bite me. Um, how much energy and pain went into the new logo design? Five minutes, right? That's all it took, really. Uh, it was like, it's just a lightning in the bottle, right? I don't think it was right? quite five minutes. Three and a half? Uh, um, no, it was a lot. So I... Yeah. I, I basically took the lead on most of the, of like, tr you know, getting the logos to a place to where then everybody could tell me what they didn't like about them, you know? And so <laughs> and that, we did, that, yeah. We did, and it was appreciated. <laughs> um, and we finally landed on the, uh, the comet die. And then actually, um, friend of the pod, Rachel kind of helped us with like the last final touches, getting it you know centered in the right way and all that kind of stuff that was really he helpful and nice um but the logo so all the new logos i've spent a long time like the last three months working on and getting them right of course with all feedback from from the crew um and as they said they they gave it to me uh they gave it to me a lot yeah, but I, I I hope that you guys like them. Um, you know, like I, I I like them. I think they 
it really kind of ties everything together a little bit and um yeah it was, it was kind of fun working on all, all this to be honest uh, you know just kind of kept i was like all right i got that one well we got to update the tom talks one well we did that and we got to update the stf unlimited actually erobs did that one you know there, there was one version that had a table Mm. <laughs> on it oh yeah, yeah. there was yeah. a lot I of yeah. hated, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. i kind of liked it. i thought it was I clever it table, I thought, dude. yeah i tried I to work a table into <laughs> strange table fellows yeah. so the t and the f and were the like the two legs okay yeah an attempt was made for sure <laughs> yeah. i'm glad we didn't down, settle man. on that because you, you got something so much better now you know I yeah, the yeah. Thank you, Erobs. Thank you, Erobs. <laughs> yeah, the table. The table. Yeah, the, the table was like one of those things where um, you like just have to have that bad idea before you can get to the good idea. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we got some other questions coming in. Y'all keep them in. Erobs is doing a good job of of catching them. Uh, we'll stay on the logo uh, I, and I don't have an answer. So we'll just talk this out while more questions come in. But 10 mm -hmm. lawn gnomes ask us if the new logo is Comet, what was the old one called? Uh, legacy. That's what le it's called yeah. now. There you go. Nice. That's how you dig us out of that one. There it's you the go. Legacy. It's the legacy one. Obviously. Always has been. <laughs> Easy. Next Day question. <laughs> yeah. Nightstorm asked about uh, uh, n no box for the dice. I don't. I'm. Yes. Yes. So, uh, I think that they I just think... kind of heard a tail end of it, but I did link you to the um, store night, uh, so you can check out there. We've got a little bit of everything. We have sets. We have um, a a couple single d20s, and then if you wanted, you can also get uh, the box. The box is actually separate. The chest of holding is separate from the dice sets. So if that makes it better i will ask eric he's in the chat um what's the australian shipping situation you can answer that better than i can because that's where night is mm -hmm. um I, I will say that the way that these work is that um it's pre-order like so we'll be doing pre-orders at different times we're not going to have them just like uh on demand, you know, because they are specialized. So we'll do occasional pre-order runs on these. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, how, how about a how about another question? This is a, just a fun one. Uh, Dashirion, and is that is that you, Dustin? That's we just need to. Dustin. That, that's Dustin. totally Dustin. That's definitely Dustin. No way, okay. it's not. All right, uh, he he asked, "What's your favorite breakfast cereals?" Zach, I'm starting uh, with you. So I'm um, starting with Zach. Okay. I'll come to you next, John. I, I don't think this breakfast cereal is around anymore, but there used to be a cereal called Honey Nut Clusters. Oh my God, that's so good. I think it you is. You remember still Clusters? Around. Yes. I don't think it is. Is it not? Honey Clusters is still around. I'm it's, a grits, man. It's, it's really fucking good. It's really good. Um, honey Bunches of Oats. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's, it's that's the closest kind of thing. The, that's yeah. the closest Maybe that's thing. what I'm yeah. thinking about. Yeah. 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 yeah, but Clusters was my shit. It's yeah. no Clusters longer around. Good. Nothing will you. ever come close. So. I see you, Z. Yeah. I am on the same train. Honey bunches of oats was my answer, but the one with solid. the one with the almonds in them. Yes. Yep. Yes, absolutely. That's the best cereal ever. Mm. <laughs> no competition. Yeah. I mean, what do y'all got? If it's not honey bunches of oats, then I don't care. Yeah. Uh, I used to be a big Cinnamon Toast Crunch fan when I was a kid. It leaves yeah. a and film on your tongue. Yeah. Well, now I'm not a fan. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, I actually like uh, like. I'm like. Do you like grape nuts? It's okay if you like no, grape no, nuts. No, no, no. I like, I like frosted <laughs> mini wheats, which. <laughs> oh, those are know, good. Those are great. Yeah, but that's also pretty, pretty bad. Em, you know? I thought you were a cream of wheat man, you know? Oh. No. <laughs> if I'm doing hot cereal, I need a bunch of oats sponsorship. Oh, my like, God. Be, Bridge, like, maybe, oh. you know? I'm sure I'd like honey bunches of oats. They'd be a board yeah, for us. Yeah, yeah, for real. You'd, you'd feel, you know, honorable about it. <laughs> yeah. As, as like... corporate shilling goes. <laughs> Whenever I'm cruising in my Nissan Armada, <laughs> eating honey bunches of oats while I'm thinking about tabletop RPGs. Yeah. And uh, how we can get chutneys and jams. Mm, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I can think. Yeah. How good yeah. would this be with a little chutney and jam? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> What what about you, Emily? Have you already answered? Did I miss that already? I like I feel like 
I like any cereal that doesn't have peanut butter in it. <laughs> oh yeah. Fair, okay, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, forgot about it. that's. I got. I'm so, pretty wide. Uh, so and, just not Reese's. Yeah. Uh, uh, whatever they're called, and the Captain Crunch peanut butter. Also, I don't mm -hmm. like um, whole milk. Like I prefer skim. I actually prefer almond. Almond. Um, because again, whole milk leaves like a film on your tongue, and it's weird. Mm -hmm. Mm. Sorry, mm. we're making another pivot. We're gonna go to the cereal, right. cereal talks yeah, this podcast. Yeah, cereal talks podcast. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love it. So I saw a question up that didn't get got, and I want to just address. So like, Tom talks is still gonna be Tom talks. Hideous tomfoolery is still gonna be hideous tomfoolery. That doesn't that doesn't change. So so just Tom to that. is the possum, uh, the name of the yeah. possum mascot. So right there you go. Strange table food. That's the network. There it is. Fucking yes. Then name I call it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man. Um, all right. Let's uh, let's look at another uh, question. Knight asked in regard to your WinterCon. Um, not sure if you have many Aussie viewers, but if there happen to be enough, would it be possible to schedule at least one game in an AUNZ friendly time? I think so. I oh, think we yeah. could probably make that happen. You know, like I don't. You see... want a GM one night? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to run one? <laughs> yeah. Pay us so you can be a patron. <laughs> so, so you can, can run a game. One. So yeah. you can run a game in our patron exclusive uh, winter con. Yeah, that's that's how that works. Got him. Uh, yeah. Got him. Uh, <laughs> Call it major. Um, oh my gosh, the space helmet. It's a stuffy. So, not bad. Not bad. Here's a question. This is this is a question that Heath and I definitely didn't talk about. Um, Jimmy T asked, "Would you ever want to do full time work for the network?" I mean, yes, but there's there's that's a long way away from where we're at. You know, like we'd probably have to be at five times what we're making for one of us to go full time. You know, let alone all of us. Um, we certainly. We certainly would like that, but we also are realist in a lot of ways. And so currently we, we, we manage this like a part-time job, even though it sometimes is a full-time job, but it's certainly not, it's not, we're it not counting on it. It doesn't pay like that currently. No, it doesn't pay. <laughs> we don't take any money to the, to our pockets. You know what like I mean? Like I said, like, it doesn't pay like that. <laughs> mm -mm, right. But yes, yeah, yeah. so it would it'd be nice. Once we get that Nissan sponsorship, <laughs> all bets are off. Oh, oh yeah. Are off. yeah. Once we get all the sponsorships we'll that we've been working everywhere. on for three and a half years, you know, we get yeah. that Nissan, no. that Chutney and Jams. We're going to get the the Honey Bunches of Oats. Honey Bunches uh, of Oats, yeah. apparently. <laughs> it's all coming out. Man, you got to shoot for the moon, you know. And the mm -hmm. New Orleans Saints. <laughs> New Orleans Saints. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Right. The official tabletop cat podcast. Right, then, look, I Saints. don't give a shit what your opinion is. If the Saints offered <laughs> us a sponsorship deal, we are taking it. I mean, 100%. Yeah, yes. But yeah. they're not my first choice. Their uniforms aren't Emily, as pretty. You should stop. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Fair enough. You should just stop now. Fair. Whatever. Uh, Your color rush jerseys are dope. Carbon, I am drinking crowd control. Uh, thank goodness that you guys are, are about what we announced, so I don't have to actually do any crowd control, so I'm just going to drink it. You're doing great. I'm yeah, that's, you. from, uh, that's from our hometown, actually. That's a hometown SoPro beer from Hattiesburg. Mm -hmm. I need to get a new SoPro shirt. I was wearing it while I was cleaning the other day and got bleach on it, and that's just a Uh-oh. That's a bummer. Oh, well. uh, Uzmez, a.k.a. Tyler, what's up, Tyler, has a question. Tier SDF yeah. Network. I have a need for more information on the Pathfinder 2 tees. Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, like there's the, can we, can we say what our three our top, top three. picks are? I think that's We fair. can say that. I think that's Emily, fair. Did, yeah. did that pass the board? I'll, uh, yeah. You'll allow it. I'll allow You'll it. Allow it. <laughs> Motion right. passes. Our All top right. three is Quest for the Frozen Flame, Outlaws of Alkenstar, or Kingmaker. Kingmaker. Um, <laughs> So here's the thing, Queen, uh, Queen, nope, not Queen Maker. Yes, Queen uh, Maker, uh, baby. Nor, nor Queen <laughs> for the Frozen it. Flame. Uh, Quest for the Frozen Flame was certainly what we were looking at uh, as our top choice. And then, you know, certain things happened and we've had to reconsider. 
Uh, but part of me is still like, fuck it. Let's do Quest for the Frozen Flame. However, Outlaws of Alchemstar has got that steampunk vibe that I think we could do really well. And then Keymaker is just awesome. For me, though, I, I will say this, <laughs> is that currently I am leaning towards a three book AP just for my own sanity uh as opposed to a six book one but if i'm gonna run a six book one kingmaker is definitely would be the one that i would do uh i think that would be a really fun thing to do so there's a little extra but that's a little juicy extra bonus information there i i wasn't expecting to say that tonight but i'm drinking cap crowd control eight <laughs> yeah. percent so you know. <laughs> it's, Here we it's go. a step down from whiskey gm y'all well, i mean damn yeah it's a step sideways i'll say <laughs> it's, it's a sidestep you it's a lateral move you tell grace i'm ready for those like super limited edition like 20 item whiskey gm bowls that's okay. all you're gonna get like that's what i'm ready that's, that's like that's like Ellie? What, what the oh, five gifts thank you, you. Eleanor. Oh, oh my goodness thank you speaking of Strange table fellows, what's <laughs> up? <For real. laughs> what is up, Eleanor? Hot damn, uh, coming in hot, hot, hot. Uh, hot. What's up? So hey. yeah, that's what that's what we're thinking about. But you know, that it's it's all nebulous. It's all, all nebulous. nebulous. It's all nebulous. Yep. You know, um, like time. And so, so there's no like hard. Um, <laughs> Go on. <laughs> wow. There, there's no hard Listen, facts. Listen, Ellie was here. To. I felt. Like... I know, like it's it, like instantly. You couldn't help yourself, could you? Right, it is what it's it like is. Like instantly okay? flustered, and here we are. Swing, uh, swing. Damn it, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> are oh, man. we surprised? No, we are not. Uh, okay. well, also, let's, let's answer another question. I painted my nails yeah. to try and match our new color, but it's a little off. It's more pink than purple, but that's okay. It does look more more pink than purple. I tried. Yeah. An attempt was made. Adam, please answer, mm -hmm. okay. answer well, questions. Yeah. Uh, next question. Um, that's not a question, e -Rops. She put from Eric Norse Foundry, for 2500 a month, we get the breakfast food talks. <laughs> Which, okay. Yeah. Let's Absolutely. do it. I I'll guess. The, yeah. I'll the, I'll, I'll, yeah. For twenty five hundred oh, yeah. a month, I'll talk about any kind of breakfast you want. <laughs> straight off the cuff, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, straight off uh, the table. A little preparation but... involved there. Yeah. We'll fill in an hour on just cereal. Oh, my um, gosh. Let's see. Let's see. Mm, I don't know. Uh, okay, here we go. We got one from Giuseppo. When is the Hestia t-shirt featuring her most famous catchphrase going to manifest? Mm. So technically, technically, that was sent out. Uh, that was a Patreon um, $25 and up tier uh, benefit shirt that went out about a, like, very soon after Tia was, you know, introduced. Yeah, but surely the spirit of the question is when can anybody buy one? <laughs> I mean, that's up to you. That's but up yeah, to y'all. Like, Who wants All you gotta it, do you is know? sign up for our Patreon. You can get yeah. one. No, I'm just... <laughs> no, like, if that's something y'all want, uh, do, I would definitely suggest uh, any merchandise that y'all, like, really want to see. Um, mm -hmm. Let us know in the Discord. Um, because that way we can make that uh, happen. Hold on, I'm trying to be cool here and drop links in case you aren't already in our discord you can join it by clicking that link boom yeah yeah that's where the real goods are yeah so uh all right for 10 lawn gnomes super random question what's your favorite ttrpg story where you used an uncommon skill like disguise no i mean that's that's a left turn uh, parenthetical Eric, but we'll take it. Uh, um, but you gotta give us a second to think about this. You know, you gotta give us a second to think. I about can't this. think of something where I use. Zach, I'm what was so, uh, Zach? Before Emily, I'm gonna come to you, but I'm gonna give Zach a, a memory test. When you first brought survival up as Orin, like you'd been built, putting a point in that forever. I can't remember what that was. Take some time to try to remember that, Emily. What you got? I was gonna say the trident pole vault, but that's not a skill. That was just a dumb Emily moment. So. I mean, <laughs> you used a skill and you failed at it. I did, 
But I yeah. liked where my my head was at until until my head hit the floor. Um, but you know. So are you talking about this right here? You wish you had this? Yeah, you oh. do. Oh, Oof. they want a they want a head's tia. Plushie. Yeah, it's a tia plushie. Okay, whatever, whatever. What, says, what about tia, a tom yeah, plushie? Yeah, like right, just, right. You know. <laughs> Elliot, yeah, it's Elliot. Can we call it our Tia shirt? No. Is that okay. a hold on? No. I feel no. like are you I making feel a... like I miss not gonna grace you with that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I missed something there. I laugh at a lot of things. I need you to that. break that, that down no. and no. send it to me because I'm gonna lose sleep over <laughs> trying to figure that out, Zach. <laughs> Zach, did you remember what your survival thing was? I think the first time I used it was in uh in the beginning of season two. New Elysium. Oh, mine, when you were exploring the mines. Yeah. Oh, I believe that was the first time I used it. Yeah. But I, I put a point. Oh, Emily caught up. <laughs> oh, no. They Welcome had to, to break it down for me in chat. <laughs> 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 um, I have oh. a degree in communications. Let's move yeah, on. Yeah, <laughs> you do. Um, oh, man. We got, we got, okay. We got some questions well, I didn't coming get in. The answer yeah, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> answers. I'm sorry, Heath. I thought you uh, so, were just checking out of banter like you usually do. No, uh, if it's good banter, I engage with it. That is the understanding that we have. Um, no, so it's not like a, a, a skill with a capital S, but one of my favorite like running gimmicks ever is back when we were playing 5e rope fighting. So like we'd go into a oh, combat yes. and everybody would tie <laughs> yeah. ropes to each other so that if something happened or somebody like fell off a wall or whatever, we could, rope we, up. Could, we could yeah, rope, rope, up. Up. rope up, but we would also try to bend the rules as much as we could and like have two people run. Oh, and, they pushed the rope. rope somebody, yeah. you know, like, yeah. push they pushed the rope. They like, yeah. they went all in on like, hey, we're going to make rope a thing. Well, yeah, and rope fighting like, was our party's some, gimmick. We yeah, like, somebody yeah. in the party was like writing a book on rope fighting rope theory. Fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, that's that Tomb of Annihilation goodness right there. I'm yeah, that was that was definitely from Tomb, right? And we were so yeah. worried about something happen, uh, you know, like a like a, a floor plate just falling out from under us. That everywhere we went, we were like rope up that was that was, was y'all's team our team was yeah. like fuck it let's just run through the jungle yeah your team fun. was like how can i do the most asinine choice in every opportunity you had somebody reach their hand into a obviously zombie t-rex you you emily peed on a dragon's claw i did i did my character got died because of that. Yeah, that you died for that. You died for alive. She died like she lived, okay? Pissing on dragons. <laughs> oh man. All right. <laughs> Another question here. Um let's see. Any hints about the five E bit that's going to be featured? Um, I will say it is not uh it's it's a it's third party. It is not. Third party. Um, it's not like an official wizards. So it might thing. be good. Oh, shots fired! Shots fired! Oh, damn! Come at it with the bird. Damn. But I mean, where's the line? I said it, and yeah. you were all thinking it. <laughs> Listen. Um, yeah. Mm. Be sweet. I, I know. I know who wrote your adventure. You do. And I'm excited about I'm it. I'm very excited about it. I think, I think it's, it's, I will say this. It is going to be, brace yourselves. This is going to be shocking. Go it's on. going to be very silly. <laughs> 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 Didn't see it coming. Mm -mm, see I know. Out of left field. Um, who's to say, Booyah? Who's to say? Who's even to say? Hmm. What are you talking about? I was responding to a piece of chat. Yeah, but you have to you have to say the question. <laughs> okay, Vuya. So, so asks, we know the context of your it, answer. Is it the Crittenden one? Who's, oh, to, who's say? to say? Who's, who's to, to say? say? <laughs> Start with it. Okay. Uh all right, next question. Possum logo hat happening? Not happening. Anything can happen with the merch. Mm-hmm. You just gotta tell us what you guys want. First of all, all things are possible. Christ, so, so jot that jot down. that down. <laughs> jot that one down. Uh, okay, we got a we got a uh, an interesting one here from Carbon Fragments. Uh, how much to get a SDF crew 
zoom in and help Ellie make some baked goods uh, on her baked goods stream. I would pay uh, Ellie to let me zoom in and yeah. help her. You bake. don't have to pay us to yeah. do that. Like, you know, like Ellie, that anytime you want us to come yeah. in on your baked goods show, you just let us know. <laughs> yes, that. <laughs> yes, that. <laughs> to make honey bunches of oat cakes. <gasps> Uh, but in in Swedish because it sounds cooler when she says things in in Swedish. Mm. It makes me. Well, listen, y'all. I don't I think finish that thought, Emily. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna stop us here. Um, I'm you know we'll we'll be active on the Discord here in a little bit. Um, but you know that's a lot to take in, and I want you guys to go check out the website. Think about all the stuff that we've announced. Thank you, everybody here. Like, let's give a shout out to Josh. We're missing him here tonight. Yeah. He is, he is, it's Veterans Day. And he is, you know, he's doing, I don't he's know. doing stuff. It has nothing to do with him being a veteran, no. but. He, like, but where are you going with this? Where are you going? But yeah, no, he could not, he couldn't be here. He couldn't be here today. So he, he sends his love and regards um, and we miss him. Uh, and he's excited about all this as well. <laughs> Sorry, What's that? Pour out your keycaps for Josh. That's hilarious. <laughs> pour out your keycaps. Take an inspiration gonna... for y'all. We're gonna Damn. answer one more serious question and one more kind of silly question. Okay. Um. So the serious question. Okay. Finder ask, are we official Paizo partners? Let me be clear that we are not announcing that today. And that is not really tied into any of the things that we're doing. We certainly always have our options open to that. But right now, today, it is not something that we are doing um, and is not related to any of the announcements that we made today. Okay, final question and then we'll be in Discord. Uh, and I don't, I don't know. I'm just saving a weird question for the last one. Okay, Monster Bria asks, "Sir, great sweetener or the greatest sweetener?" Uh, great sweetener. Can't what kind of syrup? I mean, I like maple syrup. Maple syrup is good, but agave syrup is probably the greatest. Never had agave. I mean, so it doesn't have like a flavor to me. Maple. Agave does. What? You're right. That's what makes it the greatest sweetener. If you're like putting it in your coffee or your tea, like it doesn't Fair take enough. away from the flavor of the drink or the thing that you're sweetening, you know, like that artificial sweeteners do, or even like regular sugar does. Maple syrup is delicious, but it's gonna make things maple-y, you I know mean, what I mean? Like, syrupy. I like that. Yeah. I like that. I love oh, to cool. smell like syrup for four days in a row. Do you not <laughs> <laughs> like that? <laughs> I'm a fan of syrups, uh, pretty much in general. Uh, I like cane syrup a lot, uh, maple syrup. Hell, I like chocolate Simple syrup. Simple syrups. Let's go. Simple syrup. Okay, here's Any a... kind of syrup, let's go. Do you like uh, molasses? Like blackstrap yes. molasses? Yes, I do. It's okay. really good for you. It's really, by the it's, way. It's really? just good in general, yes. too. It's strong. It's like... Put some hair has, on your chest. It has, like, such a it's high content syrup. of oh. iron. Syrup. 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 Yeah. Tussin. Of I'm iron. not feeling good. Oh. Got a, got a golf. Like, let's go. Let's get that golf syrup rolling. <laughs> Y'all, I, look, as as we wrap this up, I just want to say thank you. We, we Our Patreons already shot up just tonight, just from this. Thank you. Thank you all for who's doing that. Appreciate, appreciate it so much. Thank you so much uh, for the subs, the gifteds. Every, thank oh you. Oh, my God. God. Real. Oh, oh, my God. God. Thank you just a whole... Like, cascade of them Jeez. yeah that's it's just it's just you guys are incredible and I, I i don't know what to say other than that I fucking love hope, you I yeah we love you guys, our possums i hope you guys are ready to hear me learn how to gm because you're fucking getting it <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's and true. i'm gonna be editing it so 2023 the year of the heath mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like, <laughs> you know what i'm really excited for is mm. the shadow protection agency yes. i'm actually really excited for that me too. Shadow, I shadow, am shadow. So stoked. Like I have like too many ideas. Yeah. So like that's a good thing, right? Like I have to pick which avenue mm, we're gonna yeah. explore. But like 
there's no worries there for me of being able to come up with an adventure for the shadow protection agency if you, it's going to be awesome and like i can't wait i can't wait to do that if you can't pick adam you can always roll a norse foundry die and let it decide for you hey there you go I now, browse, I hey browse, there's I a sponsorship we can get behind ah! yeah. that we actually have <laughs> <laughs> that we actually have we done did it uh I Listen. still have not used my my uh, gemstone die that there, Norse Foundry gave me. I I use mine like like I know every I, because session. Because Grace every rolled session. a natural twenty oh, the first yeah. time anybody touched it, I'm saving it for all this GMing I'm about to do. So I can oh, okay. So these are the glass ones that I have. <laughs> That's and cool looking it's glass. It's so one right fucking there. cool, but I don't use it because I I just like you can't see I just the like to on look it. at it. It's real pretty. Yeah. That's the end yeah. of my story. <laughs> right, well, well, okay. Use it. Yeah, listen. Thank, That's all thank, we got for you, folks. That's it. I hope that was enough. Is that uh, enough? Yeah, Is that enough yeah. content? I will say, yeah. if you wanted to go back and re-listen, this will obviously be available as a VOD, but we also have a video on YouTube as well as the website that can kind mm -hmm. of like recap if you missed anything. So there's that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. All right. Well, from all the strange table fellows, we thank you and we're looking forward to our future and thank you for everything that had got us to this point we wouldn't have been able to do it without you so without further ado there's only one thing left to say folks we'll, we'll see, see you, see you. Uh, fucking did it <laughs>